My name is Rosina Rusive from Zimbabwe. The problem I'm coming here is uh, lower back pain. Since uh, 2014, 10 years now. This is my medical report from uh, Arare Hospital. We are looking at this medical report from MRI Radiology Center in Harare in Zimbabwe. It's a medical report for Mrs. Rosina Ruzive. This is where they decided to examine her because she was complaining of severe pain in the lower back and bilateral sciatica with pain in the upper limbs with headache. So they decided to do MRI examinations of her brain, the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. Upon examining her brain, they didn't find anything particular. So the brain was found to be normal in spite of the headache. And when they did the examination of her cervical spine, they noted that there are changes of early disc herniation at various levels in her cervical spine. They went ahead also to take an MRI examination of her lumbar spine, whereby they noted several abnormalities, among which at L2, L3, they noted disc dehydration. At L3, L4, they noted diffuse disc bulge. At L4, L5, the font has got disc protrusion. So with all this, she was diagnosed with multilevel degenerative disc disease and facet joint osteoarthritis, the combination causing significant degrees of canal and neuroforaminostenosis at various levels. So the appearances are most pronounced at L4, L5, where there is severe central and lateral canal stenosis. So because the nerves are affected, this is what is causing her severe pain in her back, pain in her knees, for a period of 10 years. And this is being confirmed by Dr. Gisi Jakanani. Now this is Sister Rosina. She has got so much pain, such that she has got difficulty in her walking, difficulty in sitting, in bending, in squatting. You see the way she's walking with such difficulty. Behold, brethren, the touch of God's power upon her. The mighty name of Jesus be healed. Rise up and go, you are free. Sister Rosina has been commanded to rise up. She has been declared free. Zamba from Zimbabwe. Rosina Rusiva is my mother. She was suffering for so many years and it got serious when she got for MRI. She could not do anything, even everything she wanted for help, even to put on socks, she could not paint. Thank you, Lord, thank you. I cannot even <laughs> Clap, clap, clap for Jesus Christ. My name is Rosina Rusive from Zimbabwe. Thank you, Jesus. I am healed. I am feeling right. I am feeling okay. The pain is gone. For how long have you been sick? Ten years. Mm. So how many minutes did you take to get your healing? Less than a minute. So when men go, God is praying for me, when I'm standing there, so I'm up down there. She said she just found herself down. She didn't know what was happening to her when you were calling her. She just saw herself down. Then you say, to her wake up, that's when she lies, but she doesn't even know what happened. She was very ill. She couldn't do anything. Now, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I can go to
Gloria a Jesus Sister Rosina Ruzive from Zimbabwe received complete healing from the pain in her back, which she suffered for a period of 10 years. Witness as she testifies to God's goodness the following morning. My name is Rosina Ruzive. I'm from Zimbabwe. The problem that brought me here Musana wangu wangu uchirwaza. My sorrow. Ma gumbo. Uma view. My back was paining, also I had headache and the legs were paining me. Dambutikwe ragatwanguwe gareba. This problem took too long. Nagangan singa chago ni kwenda kukujitira basare mumba. I was no longer able to do my household chores. To sit for a long time, I couldn't. Even to stand. Even to sleep. Even to do the jobs a woman do. Even to bath myself. I was being helped by other people. For me to come here, it took long. I was hospitalized. The doctor told me that this problem was too big. I had to go for investigations. And I realized that I'm... In my old age, I couldn't go for an operation. When we were sitting in the house one day, my daughters, they saw, they saw on YouTube uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande preaching. He was healing the sick. They called me. When I saw that, I also wished that I could come and see the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. We arranged for that. So when the man of God came and he started praying for me, I found myself on the ground. I suddenly heard them saying, Rosina, wake up. When I woke up, all the pain was gone. I was happy and I woke up and started running around thanking God. I was walking like this, and I was happy. I couldn't run. I couldn't walk. I couldn't squat. Now I'm able. So I'm thankful to God for healing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande. I thank uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande for being used by God because this problem had been with me for 10 years. So I'm going back to Zimbabwe. I'm going to tell everyone that is a man who can heal. Let us go there. Praise the Lord. This is my daughter. My name is Nyasha Zamba, or Widget, from Zimbabwe. I came with my mother from Zimbabwe for her healing. So when I saw her being ministered to by the prophet, it came to me that it touched me. Then I couldn't control myself. I had to run and hold her. It came to me so heavy because I've been with her through it all. She has been sick for 10 years and she was struggling. Because of her struggles, we struggled a lot. I set aside most of the things that I wanted to do 
because I had to attend to her. She couldn't go to her work and she couldn't work. So it really touched me and I, I just felt getting up and running to her with happiness. I want to thank uh, the God of Prophet Samo Kakande for healing my mother. I thank Jesus, the glory is to him. Now she can walk, now she, we will dance together. <laughs> thank you so much, Jesus, you have healed my mother. Let us give God glory.